Can we go thrift shopping? What, 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 what? what hey everybody, what, it's Shayna, also known as what, Thrifty what, Nurse. What, what, so I am doing a video today of everything I have sold from July 22nd to August 22nd, so the last month. These are sales on eBay, Mercari, and Facebook Marketplace. Mostly on Mercari because that's my main platform. Um, I do have a lot of sales that were like under $10, some even under $5. Mercari recently started allowing you to post things up to a dollar. So um, even though you're not making very much per a sale, it's just, you know, a couple dollars, it adds up. But I did not include all of those in the video because it just would have been way too long. Um, and most of it was just mine and my kids' old stuff that was not really anything great. Just things that I wanted to get rid of that I had listed when I first started. And not super interesting. So I figured y'all didn't want to see a bunch of $5 sales. But I do, I do have probably... I would say a couple hundred dollars worth of extra sales that aren't in this video that were under ten dollars um, and some of it was thrifted stuff that I either got super cheap or for free um, or just stuff that I found so it wasn't all stuff that I already had but I think it's great they're doing that like I said even though you only make a few dollars per the sale it adds up every dollar counts and people like cheap things so I will definitely be listing more. I do want to focus on trying to source better profit items from here on out because I just have so much inventory at this point. But yeah, if I find something cheap enough for free, I'll definitely pick it up even if it's only a couple bucks. That's just me. And speaking of cheap things, this super cute little cardigan here. Hold on. Look, it's got little mushrooms on it, and it's sheer. It's freaking adorable. I got that at the thrift store for like $1.69, and my daughter is probably going to fight me over it. She's already said that she wants it, but I am keeping it. And I also got these shorts there, too. And the shirt. No, wait, the shirt was free. That was from my stepmom, but I did get the shorts there for $1.69 as well. So, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I am also doing a giveaway on Instagram for 2,000 Instagram followers. So if you head over to my Instagram, the link will be in my description down below. Um, you can head over there and there are two different posts where I have put the 2K follower giveaway up. You can read the rules on there if you want to participate. Basically all you have to do is like the post and then there's other things you can do that are optional to get extra entries and I'm going to pick a random winner to win $20 in their pocket to go thrifting with. Alright, I think that's it. Oh, sorry I didn't put out a video last week. I honestly completely forgot until like halfway through this week and I was like, oh my god, I never did a video. But I'm getting bit up by mosquitoes out here now. Like seriously so i'm gonna go inside enjoy the video thanks for watching stay thrifty bye first item is this awesome leopard print vintage coat by js collections i got this at the thrift store for five dollars it sold for 40 plus shipping it did take a little while to sell but it was a pretty good sale and i listed it in the middle of summer so i'm not surprised this is a Victoria's Secret dress that sold for $50 plus shipping. I got this on quarter day at the thrift store, so it was $0.25. Cents. And I would definitely recommend using Google Lens to look up your items because that's how I was able to find those stock pictures. And they look way better than my picture right there. These are some American Eagle jeans. They were brand new with tags, sold for $24 plus shipping. These came in a truckload of stuff that one of my old patients gave to me. He is so super sweet. He used to bring me stuff all the time at work. Um, he has like a whole storage unit full of stuff. He's So this came from 
Goodwill Blue Box, one of their women's boxes. Not a super great sale. I want to say it averaged out to three or four dollars an item and it only sold for 10 plus shipping. And I don't think I've sold much else from that box. I haven't been real thrilled with their boxes, but oh well. This is a item I picked up at a yard sale for five dollars and that was a pretty good sale. Sold for 25 plus shipping. I thought they would probably do good. This is a skirt I picked up at the bins. It's $1.50 a pound there, so I paid $1.50 at the most, um, probably more like a dollar, and sold it for 50 plus shipping. It was a super cute, unique, vintage item. It's from Germany. It's by this brand called Hagro. It was really cool. This is from a yard sale. Y'all might recognize this if you saw my epic vintage t-shirt biker yard sale video I did a while back and it was three dollars and it sold for 22 plus shipping. It did take a little while to sell. This is from a shop Goodwill lot I bid on. I think it was like twelve dollars for the whole lot. Might have been fifteen. Um, but it was a bunch of Disney stuff and as soon as I saw these ornaments and another item you'll see in a minute I knew I needed to get it. I'm already into the profit on just this one item, so it was a great pickup. This is from Goodwill. It was in the bin for $1.69. It sold for $18 plus shipping. It's from Urban Outfitters, and it's got like a distressed look. And here in a second, you'll see the tag. It's absolutely ridiculous what this sold for originally. There you go, $69. Like, who buys this stuff? So this is the other item that came in the Shop Goodwill Disney box, sold for $50 plus shipping. So those two items alone, I've already made like 80 bucks on. Um, and I still have a ton of plush, some books, some hats, some uh, v VHS tapes, bunch of stuff in there. This is a retail arbitrage from Target. I picked up five or six different dresses by this brand and one other brand. They were 15, 20 bucks a piece. So I sold this one for 70 plus shipping. And all of the dresses that I've sold so far have sold for pretty good amounts. I've at least doubled my money on all of them. And I think I have one or two dresses left. This is from Victoria's Secret sold for $38 plus shipping. It was from Goodwill for $1.69. If you saw my uh, Instagram post, you might have seen I had some concerns about the tag. It just, it didn't feel like good quality. It didn't feel like typical Victoria's Secret and the tag looked weird to me. I had never seen one like that. There it is. But it did sell and I did list it as Victoria's Secret because that's what it said it was. This came from an estate sale. I picked this up for two or three dollars and it also had a pair of glasses you'll see later in the video inside the purse and it sold for 50 plus shipping and the glasses sold for a lot too so that was a great buy. Um, somebody handmade this and they actually made a lot of like needlepoint stuff that I bought at the same sale and inside I found this newspaper from 1969 so that was pretty cool. This is another one of those retail arbitrage dresses from Target. This one went for 50 plus shipping, and this was one of the cheaper ones. I think this was a $15 one that I picked up. And I would uh, definitely, like I said, use Google Lens to find the stock photos. Sometimes you can find like celebrities might have worn a certain item and that will give you more selling power. This is a item I picked up at a thrift store. It was $2. It sold for $15 plus shipping. It did have some wear, especially around the edges. You'll see in the picture here in a minute. And it did take a little while to sell, but it was still a pretty decent sale. There's the wear you can see, and it had some stains as well. This I picked up on High Bid, which is an auction site. It was in a lot of things. I think it totaled out to about 2 bucks for this one item. And it sold for $12 plus shipping. It did take a little while to sell. If it hadn't been so worn and in the condition it was in, I probably could have got about double for it, but it wasn't in the best condition. Um, it had some some discoloration you can kind of see there, and then it didn't really want to say snap shut very well, so I priced it cheap. This is from the Thrift 5 and 15 video I did, and it was at the thrift store for $2, sold for $25 plus shipping on Facebook. I've noticed shoes do really well on there. They usually sell faster on Facebook than anywhere else for me, and watches as well seem to do really well on there. 
This is a plush I picked up for 50 cents. It's made by Commonwealth. You'll see the tag in a second. And it was at a thrift store. It sold for 18 plus shipping. That's another thing I had listed for a while on Mercari. And once I cross posted it, it sold pretty quickly. There's the tag. These are some shoes by Hoka I picked up. I think these were $2 as well. Sold for 50 plus shipping on Facebook. These are awesome shoes. I tried these on when I was going to go hiking uh, across the Camino, and I didn't end up using them. I got something else, but they were super comfortable. Not this exact pair, of course. But. This is a Tommy Bahama shirt. I thrifted for $2, sold for $26 on Facebook, plus shipping. And it actually sold on Mercari first for, I think, like $16, and then the order got canceled, which ended up being good because it sold for even more once I cross-posted it. This is something I picked up at that biker yard sale for, I think it was a dollar, and it sold for 50 plus shipping. It did take a little while to sell, but it was a great sale, and that was an amazing yard sale. I've made like hundreds of dollars on that stuff. This I got for free from my patient that gave me the truckload of stuff, sold for 16 plus shipping. The lady that bought it was so excited. I guess her house had burned down a couple years ago. And she was looking to replace some of the things she lost. So she was super excited to get this. It was really sweet. These are some shoes. These are actually the shoes I ended up wearing on the Camino. But the girls version. And that's like a 500 mile hike across Spain. I did three years ago over like a month's time. And I did not get a single blister. So these shoes are amazing. Super great for hiking. But I think I got these for 2 or $3 and they sold for 40 plus shipping on Facebook and they sold super fast. This I picked up at a thrift store for $1.99. It sold for 22 plus shipping. And the funny part about this is it went about 10 minutes up the road for me. It was literally in my hometown that it sold. So that was really weird. This I picked up in the Big Wee Bundle from the Thrift 5 and 15 video, and as well as the next item. This one sold for $49, the other one coming up sold for $34, plus shipping for both. And I am probably over $200 in profit on that lot, I would say, so far, and I still have a lot to sell. This came from a fill-a-bag sale. I paid maybe like $0.25. Cents. Sold for 17 plus shipping on Mercari and it sold really fast. This was a free shirt from my patient, sold for 18 plus shipping and it also sold pretty fast. And it is a present from a grandma to her grandson for his birthday. Aww. I like when people tell me what they're doing with the stuff. This was another free find, sold for $22 plus shipping. It's a reversible vintage skirt, it's super cool. And another free find, these are some Jordans that sold for 38 plus shipping. And these were in pretty decent condition, but when you push on the toe area, they do peel back a little bit from the sole, which I showed a picture you'll see in a second. I suggest always testing your shoes, especially older Nikes, like twist them around, push on them, you know, make sure they're really good before you list them. This came from an estate sale for $2. It sold for $29 plus shipping, and it sold within a couple days. It's a vintage Chaps Ralph Lauren, like, nautical-themed shirt. This sold pretty quickly as well. This was from the bin at my Goodwill for $1.69. It sold for $35 plus shipping, and it is a rug. Super cute. This I thrifted out of town, I think it was $3, and it sold for $55 plus shipping. It sold pretty quickly, it was really unique, it had a light that plugged in, and it had these flowers, and then it's like a holographic lenticular style artwork, like when you move it around, the Virgin Mary looks different, like it changes a little bit, it was super cool. This is also a thrifted out of town item. I think I paid $2 for this one and it sold for $48 plus shipping and it also sold pretty quickly. It's some awesome vintage owl art from like the 60s. Uh, I really wanted to keep this. If I had somewhere to put it in my house, I would, but our walls are all covered with Avid Brother posters. We don't really have any more room, so I let it go. This I thrifted, I think for $2 or $3 and it sold for $32 plus shipping. 
It is an LL, LL Bean Vintage Lantern, and it has three candles that light on the inside. These shoes are J. Crew. I got them for $3 at the thrift store. They sold for $27 plus shipping. They did sell pretty quickly, maybe like a week or two. And the funny thing about these is somebody, random person on Mercari, messaged me and was like, oh my god, those shoes are so ugly. Here's the, the conversation. They look like a third grade teacher, Dorothy shoes, and I don't know what they were talking about, but they were hating on these shoes, so I thought it was pretty funny that they sold really quick. These are also some, some people might say ugly shoes. They're actually from Charlotte Roos, and they were $2 at the thrift store, and they sold for $21 plus shipping, and I knew they would sell good even though they're not a great brand because they're all like cottage core, granny core looking, and that's super hot right now. These are some Levi dress that sold for 11 plus shipping. I got it on quarter day and the next thing is also from quarter day and it is a Levi jacket that sold for $12 plus shipping. It wasn't one of the nicer ones. It was like a thin kind of not so nice one, but I thought they'd go for a little bit more, but they didn't. This is a vintage Santa figurine that I thrifted for $2 and sold for 15 plus shipping. Christmas sells all year. This is another Target Retail Arbitrage dress. This one went for $38 plus shipping. That's the cheapest one that I sold out of the ones I've sold so far. And this was one of the cheaper ones that I bought as well. I think this one was like $15. This is something I got for free with a bunch of Department 56 items. I got at an estate sale and I sold this for $29 plus shipping. It is a book. And I have not listed any of the other Department 56 stuff yet, but I will be soon. These are three free items that I got for free that somebody bundled for 14 plus shipping. It's just a little vest for a kid. And then this paper poster, uh, vintage poster, and a small pillow, like a decorative hanging pillow. And I got all those for free. This is a vintage Jag Jaguar Jag. Jaguar, how do you say it? The car uh, brand. It's a duffel bag, like luggage bag. I think I thrifted that for $2. It took forever to sell. This is a Coca-Cola tank top. I think I paid a dollar for this and it sold for 11 plus shipping. That just sold today. This is a Salt Life shirt. Um, I think I thrifted this out the bin for $1.69. It sold for $15 plus shipping. This is a Betsy and Adam prom dress I got on quarter day for a quarter. It sold for $15 plus shipping. It had one little stain, but it was in pretty good shape. This is another shirt that was free from my patient. This one sold for $18 plus shipping. It's a LA Lakers shirt. And this is another shirt from my patient. This one sold for 15 plus shipping. It's by Crooks and Castles. I had never heard of that brand before, but comps looked pretty decent. This is an ET shirt, sold for 10 plus shipping. That's another one that was in the truckload of stuff that my patient gave me. And then this is a Chicago Bears Nike Salute to Service hoodie. It sold for 32 plus shipping. I got this for like three or four bucks at the thrift store. If this had been in better shape, I could have sold it for at least double that, but it did have some wear around the Velcro tags right there, like some staining, some dark marks, and then also on the back right there. So I ended up taking a low offer because it had sat for a while. This is a tutu dress I got at the thrift store for like two bucks, sold it for 18 plus shipping. It's a kid's dance costume by Wiseman. I've sold that brand before. It's a great brand to pick up. Usually it goes for a little bit more than that. This is a free dress I got. It sold for $9 plus shipping. That's one of those items I said I sold a lot of them, but I didn't put them all in here. This is another shirt from my patient that I got for free. Sold for $20 plus shipping. Vintage NC State. And it did have some tears on the seams, but I was able to fix it really quickly, like two seconds. This is a vintage outfit from the shop, or not shop Goodwill, Goodwill Blue Box, uh, vintage box. That one's $75, and there's like 10 items or so, so it's like $7, $8 a piece. 
and I have not done great with it. I'm not, the only boxes of theirs I've been super thrilled with are like the plush and the jewelry boxes. Anyways, these came from an estate sale, the Needlepoint Lady estate sale, and they were a dollar a piece. They are tablecloths. They did have, unfortunately, a lot of yellow staining you'll see in one of the pictures, but I sold all three of them. Two of them sold for $23 each, and then one sold for $22 plus shipping. And I think 60, what is that, 68 bucks for three bucks? That's pretty good to me, especially for some stained items. And there's the stains, unfortunately. They were absolutely beautiful, though. Like, such a good job. She's so talented. She made so much cool stuff. I think I showed you guys most of the rest of it in another one of my videos. It was like the epic estate sale haul video with all the Department 56, I think. This, there's actually a return initiated on. They said it didn't work. It was thrifted for two or three dollars. I did sell it as untested because I didn't have the dongle, so I don't know if Mercari is going to accept that return or not. I'm trying to, to decline it, but I'm waiting to see what they're going to do. These shoes I found for free. They sold for 10 plus shipping. They're Michael Kors. I think I could have probably got a little bit more than that, but I ended up taking an offer on them. They did have some wear on the back side you'll see right here. That was on both shoes, so I just let them go for cheap. These are some Tory Burch flip-flops I got for about $5 total, sold for $25 plus shipping. I thought I would get a lot more for these too. Maybe I shouldn't have lotted them up. I don't know. Maybe it's the size. They were a smaller size. And then that one had that little flaw right there you can see, so I don't know, but it was a decent sale. These came from a fill-a-bag sale. They were maybe a quarter. They sold for $20 plus shipping. Vintage Court Casuals, I think was the brand, uh, made in the USA, like tennis shorts. They were really cool. I really liked the waistband on them right there, and they were brand new with tags, like mint, dead stock condition, um, super cool item, probably from like the 70s or 80s. This came from the bins, maybe 50 cents. It sold for 12 plus shipping to another nurse actually that is going on vacation with her kid and they're going to see a KISS concert. So that was pretty cool. This sold for 15 plus shipping and one of them I picked up for free and the other one I found at the bins for maybe like $1.50 and then I lotted them up together. This sold for 11 plus shipping. I believe I paid like 50 cents for it. And it is a eagle tie from like the 90s and it has a Bible verse on it. Uh, the verse is actually pretty cool. You'll see it right here. I really like that. I thought it was pretty neat. And I like the quote there, even though I'm not like a religious type person. This is a Salt Life shirt sold for 12 plus shipping. I really thought this one was going to sell for like 20-ish. I don't know why it didn't, but it was listed forever. But that other Salt Life shirt that was way more plain even sold for more than that one, so who knows. This I thrifted for $1.50. It sold for 31 plus shipping. It did sit for a while. It's a Hummer Samsonite bag. And I think what happened with this one, I think I could have probably got double that, but I had really awful pictures. I really should have retook those pictures. I was being super lazy. This, although I don't have an explanation for, this sold for 16 plus shipping. I think I paid like six bucks for it at the thrift store. It's like heavy metal, super detailed, like fantasy gothic uh lamp and it was really cool i thought it was going to go for way more than that but it sat forever so i just let it go these are this is a dress from my very first video where i got the whole cart for ten dollars so maybe like 10 cents in it it's one more dress i have left out of that to sell and i have made a lot of money on those dresses i'm so glad i got them this came from a yard sale for a dollar it's just a big head chihuahua plush and it took a while to sell as well. This came in a lot of Dragon Ball Z items. Um, I think this was the last one to sell. I don't remember exactly what I paid, but I did make a lot of money on the lot. This used to be my daughter's. I originally paid $3 for it and sold it for seven. It's Jimboree. These I got at a yard sale for a quarter a piece, and they sold for $12 plus shipping. I thought these would go for a bit more too, maybe if I had waited till closer to Christmas, but that's okay. This is a free 
um, purse I got and then the dragon I think I paid a dollar for it at a thrift store and somebody lauded them up it was kind of a random combination but they both sold after sitting forever this I got at the thrift store for five dollars it sold for 25 plus shipping it is a brand new with tags express coat I almost kept this for myself but I really didn't need another coat so I ended up listing it this is a vintage Angora fur cardigan. It sold for 15 plus shipping. I got it at the thrift store for like $3 and I thought this would go for more as well. I don't know. Somebody else told me these don't do so great even though they should because they're absolutely gorgeous and so soft. This is a free Chico shirt I got. It sold for 19 plus shipping. It actually sold really fast. I was kind of surprised. Chico's usually doesn't do great for me. This is another free item I got and somebody saw it on Instagram and bought it from me and they paid $20 plus shipping. Thank you so much for buying it. This came from Goodwill for $1.69. It sold for $23 plus shipping and I always do great with Fredericks of Hollywood corsets. This is a mud pie baby outfit that I got at Goodwill for $1.29. It sold for $24 plus shipping and it sold really fast. This came from my patient from that truckload of stuff. It sold for 11 plus shipping and it's pretty much just a plain white t-shirt um, by Rich Gang. I had never heard of that brand before this either. This came, I think, from Quarter Day at the thrift store. It sold for $12 plus shipping. It's a pair of Victoria's Secret leggings. And this was a free find from that big bag of vintage underwear and bras I got, and it sold for $10 plus shipping. It's Victoria's Secret stockings. This was also a free find I found on the side of the road. It sold for $24 plus shipping, and it sold like super, super fast, like 30 minutes. I believe it's probably from Hobby Lobby. It had a super cute frame, and it was in pretty good condition. These I picked up for $2 a piece, so $6 total, and they sold for $75 plus shipping, and these also sold super fast. I think I probably could have listed a little bit higher, but I listed them on the lower side because they had some, like, not chipping, but like the design had chipped off a little bit. You'll see it in the next picture, I think. Right there at the bottom, there was uh, some of that on the bottom of one of them, like a lot. This was another free find and it sold for 14 plus shipping. It's an Adventure Time little wallet clutch thing. This I got at the thrift store for $5. It sold for 22 plus shipping. It is a Scentsy warmer and I threw in a bar of wax that I had thrifted a long time ago for like super cheap. This, uh, I think this was from Quarter Day maybe and it sold for 16 plus shipping. It's a Nike Air Jordan shirt. This I picked up for a dollar, sold for 12 plus shipping. It's just a funny little party with stoner shirt. And this came from a fill a bag sale. It was maybe like a quarter, it sold for 12 plus shipping. It's a free people layering top. This is a Victoria's Secret dress, sold for $30 plus shipping. And it was also a quarter day fine, so I paid 25 cents. These are some Nike baby sandals sold for 15 plus shipping. I think I got these at the thrift store for $1.29 in the baby bin. These were from a yard sale for a dollar. Some Van Star Wars shoes. They sold for 18 plus shipping and they did have some wear to them. These were from a fill a bag yard sale, maybe a quarter at the most, 15 plus shipping is what they sold for, and they are some Star Wars shorts, and they're from Hot Topic. I remember because I wanted to buy a pair myself. This came from, I think this was a free find actually, and it sold for $14 plus shipping. This is another thing I almost kept, but it didn't quite fit right. This was at the thrift store for $3. It is a nautical romper outfit and it sold pretty quickly these came from a fill a bag sale i think they were like 25 cents maybe sold for 31 plus shipping they are actually from walmart like faded glory brand but the style was super cool oh and they're also missing the button but the style was cool enough to make up for all of that and they ended up being a great sale and they sold really fast 
This was from Quarter Day. It sold for 19 plus shipping. I was really surprised this sold super fast too. I didn't even know if this was going to sell. I almost didn't even pick it up. But it's just like a little tank and shirt set. This was in the boxes of stuff my patient gave me for free and it sold for $20 plus shipping and it sold pretty fast as well. It's a plus size swim cover suit. This was from the thrift store for $3. It sold for $23 plus shipping and it had a broken zipper but it's a great brand, Lacoste. This was from a Goodwill Blue Box dress box and it sold for $25 plus shipping. I think it worked out to like five or six an item. And y'all have already heard my thoughts on those boxes. This I got for $3. It sold for $48 plus shipping. I think I picked it up at a thrift store and it sold pretty quick. I always do great with those. This was from a thrift store as well for $3. Sold for $15 plus shipping. It did have a little bit of stains on it. I only picked it up because of the size. And this one, I think I got this one for $2.00. Might have even been a free find, but it sold for 15 plus shipping. This bodysuit was $1.50 and then the frame was a dollar at a yard sale and somebody bundled them together and bought them for 27 plus shipping. And the bodysuit was H&M Coachella line. This is from a fill -a bag sale. It's a Walmart swimsuit, new with tags. It sold for 11 plus shipping. Somebody messaged me talking crap about this one that I had it priced too high because it was from Walmart, but it still sold. This was also a fill -a bag sale. It was like 25 cents maybe. It is a vintage dress and it was also missing a button and it still sold really fast. I think maybe because of the print it was a really cool like cottage core ish print. This is a Lacoste shirt. I got this one for free. Sold for $24 plus shipping. Like I said, that's a great brand to pick up. It always sells really fast for me. This is a plush I think I got for $0.50. Cents. It sold for $13 plus shipping. I think it was handmade. Um, it didn't have a brand tag or anything. And it looked like it might be handmade. And it did have a little hole on one of the seams. This was a free plush I got. It sold for $15 plus shipping. It's Harrods brand or Harrods brand. And usually it does a little bit better than what I got for it, but this one wasn't um, as an uncommon of one. This I got for $4 at the thrift store. It sold for $28 plus shipping. It was super pretty. And it was pretty big too. These are the glasses that were inside that purse that I sold for $50. These went for $42. So between the two of those, I made almost $100. And I picked up the purse for like $2 or $3. I had no idea the glasses were in them till I got home. I almost kept the glasses. As you can see, I was wearing them, but I ended up deciding to sell them. This I got at the thrift store for $2. Sold for $27 plus shipping. It is a Starbucks North Carolina tumbler cup. And that's usually a good thing to pick up, the Starbucks like travel cups. This is a, another thrift store find. I paid $3 for this one. It sold for $33 plus shipping. And this, actually, somebody gave me this in the parking lot of the thrift store for free with some other boys' clothes, and they sold for $15 plus shipping. This I got at a thrift store, or no, at a yard sale, I'm sorry, for $3, and it sold for $54 plus shipping, and it sold pretty quickly. It was a vintage union made dress. This was from a fill -a bag yard sale, maybe a quarter. Sold for 13 plus shipping. It's a Gorillaz t-shirt, the band, it's super cute. This was from the biker yard sale. I think I paid maybe $3 for this one and it sold for 25 plus shipping. Like I said earlier, I did so great with all these shirts. This was from Walmart clearance last year for a dollar. It sold for 14 plus shipping. I had it listed since last year, so it did take a while to sell. And this one also, it was another dollar clearance bag um, at the end of after school last year when I very first started reselling. These were a dollar, I think, at a yard sale. And they sold for 16 plus shipping. My husband almost kept them, but he decided he didn't want them. And this was $2 at a yard sale. 
and it sold for 15 plus shipping. It's a vintage brass Santa candle holder. And this is from a Goodwill Blue Box Jewelry Box. It sold for 13 plus shipping. I'm already in the profit on that box. And the jewelry boxes I do like, I usually do great with those. This I think I picked up for a dollar. 19 plus shipping is what it sold for. It was so adorable. I almost kept it. And this was mine. I got it for free as a gift. It sold for 15 plus shipping. Just decided I didn't need it anymore. And this I picked up at a yard sale for like a dollar or two and sold for 12 plus shipping. I thought I would get a little bit more than that, but it had sat for a while. These I picked up at a thrift store for $8 for the set. They sold for $41 plus shipping. Vintage Apothecary jars. I think I said that right. One was missing the lid, but I thought they were so cool. I like vintage medical stuff. This I got at a thrift store for a dollar. It's a vintage Ed Hardy like vase thing. I think it actually used to hold maybe perfume in it or something. I have no idea. But it sold for $20 plus shipping. It did take a little while to sell. I had dropped the price and then raised it back up again and then it finally sold. This I got at the bins, so maybe like a dollar, a dollar fifty. And it sold for $14 plus shipping. It's a vintage needlepoint pillow. It was super cute. This I got in the Thrift 5 for 15 video for a dollar and it sold for $20 plus shipping. It came from the thrift store. And these I also got at the thrift store for $2. And they sold for $15 plus shipping. And they did take a little while to sell. Like most shoes seem to do for me. I don't sell shoes that quickly. I don't know why. Michael Kors um, sequin shoes. These were also from the Thrift 5 and 15 video for $2. They sold for $15 plus shipping. I was expecting to get a little bit more for these, but I had had them listed for a little while. So I just let them go when I got an offer for them. And these shirts came from the bins. They were maybe like $0.50 cents a piece. Sold for $14 and $17 within like a day of each other. And they are in and out. California shirts from the In-N-Out Burgers fast food place. We don't have that here, unfortunately. This also came from the bins, maybe 50 cents. It's the J. Crew Drake's top, and it sold for 18 plus shipping. Luckily, I found the stock picture because the pictures I got of it were horrible. It just did not photograph well for me. These are some Carhartt overalls. I also got these at the bins. They sold for $18 plus shipping, and I paid maybe a dollar, a dollar fifty for them. I don't usually grab baby stuff, but I knew Carhartt would be a good brand. This is from the biker yard sale. I think I paid a dollar for it. Sold for $28 plus shipping. This one took a little longer to sell, maybe like a month or two, but it was a good pickup. And this is also from the biker yard sale. Picked it up for a dollar. Sold it for $16 plus shipping. It's a vintage Mardi Gras shirt from 1989. And it did have some staining. And this I got for free. It's an Adidas Portland tank top jersey. It sold for $12 plus shipping. It was boy size. And these two skirts I picked up for a dollar. One sold for $10 and one sold for $9. I actually got like maybe five or six different skirts that are kind of this style and I still have some of the rest listed. These I picked up for free. Reebok Plunge Bralette sold for 11 plus shipping. There was a pink and a purple one. Luckily I found the stock pictures because again they look way better than mine. This was from the biker yard sale as well. Got it for a dollar. It sold for 12 plus shipping. And it is an adult shirt. <laughs> the uh, graphic on there is something else. I don't think I would wear that. What about y'all? This is a Beanie Babies lot. I sold for 14 plus shipping. I think I got all th three of these for free. And they did take a while to sell. 
These are some swim shorts I got at the thrift store for $1.69. They sold for $15 plus shipping. They were super cute. This was in the free stuff my patient gave me. It's a vintage plus size dress and it sold for $21 plus shipping and it did sell really fast. I don't know if it was the print or the style or what, but it sold super quick. This was from a fill a bag sale, maybe 50 cents at the most. Sold for 16 plus shipping. It's a little Minnie Mouse security blanket. This is a dress I picked up at the thrift store for $3. And it is Jessica McClintock brand. And that's usually a bolo. Depending on the style, but most of the time. This is a LRG jean shorts I picked up for $1.69. Sold for $16. I actually picked up like three of them, and that's the first one that sold. And this is a Patrons of Peace tank I got for $1.69, and it sold for $15 plus shipping. This is the bolo of the month. It came from Shop Goodwill for $50. It is a Craig Tracy art print, and it sold for $200 plus shipping on eBay. Um, he actually painted on somebody's body this artwork and then photographed it and then made it into a print So it's super cool and it sold pretty quick for art and this is my favorite sale It's some LuLaRoe Santa ugly weird guy leggings. I got these for free They only sold for five dollars, but I literally only got them to see if somebody would actually buy them because I didn't think anybody would because they're so ugly, but somebody bought them. No offense. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to check out my Instagram and participate in the giveaway. Alright, see you next time. One man's trash, that's another man's come up. Oh. Like your granddad.